December 1 was to be the date that the Philippines started reopening their borders to green list countries around the world. And whilst many countries never made that green list, I have no doubts that countries like the USA, UK, Australia and Canada would have been added rather quickly. Many foreigners who were getting excited at the prospect of meeting their Filipina girlfriend for the first time or guys returning to visit their girlfriend, fiancé or wife, which was to be the start or recommencement of their lives together. So I totally understand the frustration and disappointment when the Philippines announced they were abolishing their green list and effectively keeping their borders closed to foreign tourists only a matter of a couple of days after announcing they were reopening. This was a bit like offering a baby some candy and then snatching it away. And we all know how a baby would react to that. Just quickly, if you're searching for a Filipina and are not sure where to start, then why not check out my affiliate link in the pinned comment and description of this video to the Philippines' number one dating site, Christian Filipina, where it's free to join via a basic membership and view tens of thousands of beautiful Filipina profiles right now. Well, I've spoken to several men and Filipinas personally, and via chat and emails who are very upset about this recent decision by the Philippines not to reopen their borders. And this comes not only from those guys keen to be with their girlfriend or wife, but also from many guys who are planning on living in the Philippines as expats. Many of these guys are writing off the Philippines and saying they'll be going to other affordable countries to live instead. Countries like Mexico and Thailand, just to name a couple. I've also found for some searching online for a Filipina to share their life with, they've just given up on the idea, which is a shame. And in fact, it's a shame that I'm seeing so many guys who seemingly have run out of patience in waiting for the Philippines to once again reopen to foreign tourists. One must remember, the Philippines has always had their own unique way of doing things, and how they've dealt with the pandemic should really be no surprise to anyone. The Philippines is a developing country, and they don't have the infrastructure of a developed country, so things always move slowly there. So, to me at least, if those guys who are going to move to the Philippines can't handle what's going on around borders right now, then I wonder how they'd manage actually living in the Philippines on a daily basis, year in and year out. As for the guys who have given up on finding a good Filipina online, then that's certainly your decision. But I do wonder how serious you may have been from the start. In my consulting appointments, I always like to ask the person why it is they're choosing to find a woman from the Philippines who's many thousands of miles away. And by the way, I have a link in my pinned comment and description for those wishing to access my consulting service. But one must realise that this is a really important thing for the man to understand himself the reasons for his choice, and to know it's not just some random thing because it may seem like a bit of fun or he's trying to get over a previous relationship. If a man was seeking a Filipina for the right reasons, then he won't be spitting the dummy because the Philippines is doing what the Philippines has always done and will continue to do. Anyone who's been following what's going on in the Philippines will know that they do want to open because they understand the importance of international tourism and its effect on the economy and many millions of local Filipino people. You'll often hear government officials always referring to this fact in many press statements around reopening the Philippines to foreign tourists. Yes, this new corona variant has thrown the Philippines into a bit of a spin, as it's done with many other countries, but I'm sure they're just being cautious, or maybe they've even panicked just a little. I'm sure this will only last a short time whilst they gather data on this new variant, which is still looking like people who are vaccinated are very well protected against this one. They'll soon realise that this one is no worse than the Delta variant in as much as making people very sick. And as I said in a previous video, it could be a godsend and in fact help the world get back to normal much quicker. So when the data is available in just a couple of weeks, I do believe we'll see the green list reintroduced 
and hopefully with some of the major countries who frequent the Philippines as tourists added to that list. So for sure, it's up to each of us to decide if we want to live in the Philippines or not. If you want to continue looking for a Filipina or ditch the idea altogether, and I certainly feel for those who are already in a relationship and just wanting to be with each other to get on with your lives. But I do feel a lot of the comments like, I'm never going to the Philippines, or I've given up on finding a Filipina for good, are just out of frustration. And as I say, the reaction is a bit like offering a baby a piece of candy and then taking it away. I know people have endured much through this pandemic, and their frustration with this may be reaching their limits. But really, just slow down and see the full picture here for what it really is. This step to keep the borders closed to the Philippines is only a pause and not a stop. And very soon I do believe you'll see what I'm saying here. And no, I have no inside information, but I do believe I'm reasonably good at looking at all sides of a situation and often reading between the lines. But as I say, we'll know soon for sure. So for those of you who are genuinely keen to get to the Philippines, just know that your time is coming. I feel they will go back to their green list, and those fully vaccinated from that list won't need to quarantine upon arrival, much the same as it was going to be when they planned to reopen on December 1st. They already have the protocols in place, and as I say, they're just waiting to get the data on the new variant before giving the green light to the green list countries and possibly even the yellow list countries who undoubtedly will have to do some quarantine time. Just look at it this way. You guys have come this far through the pandemic, so don't fall over at the last hurdle. There's a bigger picture here that you need to look at and think hard about. If retirement was your goal, then it still can be. If you wanted a relationship with a Filipina for all the right reasons, then it still can be. And if you're keen to be with your girlfriend, fiancé or wife, then this is very close to happening. So keep up the good fight to make the dreams you had prior to COVID a reality in 2022 and beyond. Only you'll decide what your future holds and who it will be with. So if you're looking for a genuine Filipina, then why not check out Christian Filipina Dating Site. My affiliate link is in the pinned comment below. And if you're looking for more valuable information and tips around dating a Filipina, then be sure to check out my extensive playlist on screen now. Thanks very much for watching. I've truly appreciated all your support and I'll see you in the next video.